Hey, 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 good morning everyone. Friday morning, the 30th of October 2020. This morning's devotion is a reading from Psalm chapter 33, reading verses 18 through to verse 20, which read, But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear Him, on those whose hope is in His unfailing love, to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In John chapter 9, we find Jesus telling a blind man to go and wash in the pool of Siloam, which means, or translated, means sent. Now, the access to the pool of Siloam involved getting there safely, and this certainly is no easy feat for a blind person. But he did it, and he leaned over the edge of the pool and began to wash his eyes, all based on the one simple instruction to go and wash in the pool. The blind man obeyed those simple instructions, and when he'd finished it, he came back all seeing. The question is often asked, what does a person need to know to become a follower of Christ? Well, the story in John chapter 9 provides us with a very clear-cut answer. The blind man received sight, not because he deserved it, not because he earned it, or not because he found it. Rather, he received sight because he trusted and obeyed the one who was sent to, obey, to open the eyes that are blind. Sometimes we often wonder how it is that a simple instruction can bring such a massive change in a person's life. Look at the life of Jesus to see how to live a life which is good and pleasing to God. What happens if we decide not to obey? Well, once again, scriptures provide us with the answer, and we can merely go to the book of Jonah, the prophet Jonah, who decided to disobey that simple instruction to go and to proclaim God's judgment on the city of Nineveh. Thankfully, Jonah came to his senses, and he obeyed, all the while being taught a very valuable lesson by God. My dear friends, we make life so complicated for ourselves and the instructions are clear and simple. The task is easy. But what is the instruction, you may ask? Well, very easy. We are to trust and obey God at all times. Doing that makes life a whole lot simpler. With those few words, my prayer is that may the Lord be with you, may He bless you, may He cause His face to shine upon you, and be with you until we meet again. Goodbye.